understand your horse. To understand your horse is a lifelong process, but it can be worked on every day. Is your horse dull and disrespectful, or is he reactive and afraid? Your techniques and approach to horsemanship will change depending on your horse's nature, strengths, and weaknesses. Learn to be a student of your horse, and you'll always be improving your relationship and never be bored. Want to feel safe and understood? Seek first to understand your horse. Okay, so hindquarter yield, I'll, I'll work with you. So why don't you give me a hindquarter yield and let's see if I can correct anything or help you or show you a different way. Okay, so what you're doing right there is when in my terminology is a forward bend. So you're still getting a yield with the hind end. So you're step the one, le one hind is stepping in front of the other, but he's walking forward in a circle. So what we want to do right now, I'm going to teach you a hindquarter yield, which is a pure hindquarter yield. Is slow. We're going to move his hips just like on the ground. His hips are going to go left. So we're going to move the hindquarters to the left. So he's going to rotate around his right front. So you're going to bend him to the right. Slide your hand down further. There you go. Bend him about there. And now put your heel back at the three position and then push. If he walks out of that, bend tighter. Shorten your rein a little more. Right there. Now release. Good. Now, when you release, take your leg off, but keep him bent. So when I say stop, just bring, take your leg off and say, whoa. But, but keep bending him. And once he stops and is bent, then you can let him out of it. So we want to teach him to yield. So he bends because you pick up on the rein. He yields because you push with your heel. Right there. Off. Stop. Right now... Just be okay with bending him and keeping your legs off and waiting for him to stop, even if it takes 20 turns. Okay? Try not, I mean, if you start getting dizzy, look out farther, but just keep him bent and keep your legs off. So, yield. Keep going, keep going. That's pretty good. Okay, so she's trying to stop because she took her, her leg off. So this is help, This is going to help him learn to bend and stop. Well, the emergency stop or one rein stop or a bend and stop, bend to relax, whatever you want to call it, this is teaching him when your legs come off and you and pick up on that rein, he should stop moving his feet. And right now she's just going to let him keep going until he decides to stop. Next clinic, if he did that, we'd, we'd change up to my other strategy. But keep, keep bending him. Just wait on him. Just be patient. It's just like when we're, when we're on the ground and doing lateral flexion, we're just going to follow him and follow him and follow him, and we will not stop until he stops. And one thing you could do is shorten up your bend ring just a little more. And 
Wait for it. Right there. Now let him out of it. Now flex in both directions a couple times. Good. I love that he did that so we can show that some horses will just keep moving their feet after you yield the hindquarters. Now, if you had let go of that bend and let him straight, that he would have walked forward. Or you could have pulled back on both reins and stopped him, I'm sure. But I want to teach him to bend and relax and keep his feet still. Okay, now bring him back over here. And we're going to try it again. Same side. So we're just going to keep working on that right side, moving his hips left. Come on, like maybe... Just because he might move a lot again. <laughs> just start like here. He's pretty smart. He might figure it out. Hell yeah. I bet he will. Now, from here on out, the rest of the clinics, if you guys, if I say stop, I only want you stopping with one rein. Okay? Or, or if you just go to stop, I want you to stop with one rein. So slide the hand down and bend him to stop. We're going to teach them to bend and relax. So now you're yielding the hindquarters. So what she just did was shortened up her rein a little bit more because he was walking out of it. Now, okay, try it again one more time. Keep yielding. Now I want you to get a couple good steps, maybe one more step, right there. Now leg off. Very good. Flex both ways twice. Ask him to yield. And he's walking forward just a little. That's that's pretty common at first. Some horses really struggle to get out of it at all. Like they always want to take little steps. Keep going, keep going. That's good. Now stop. And that's good. She says, whoa. So take your leg off and then say, whoa. If that's what you want to say when they stop. Good. That was better. So that's like a 90% improvement, right, or more. Now work on his left side, so pushing his hips to the right. 